Salut, bonjour, ah, bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Et, oui, euh, je, peux, je peux parler français un peu. <laughs> still un peu, yes, uh, still a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, so I can speak French just a little. But anyway, uh, again, because this is a themed video, today, uh, this video, I will be showing you how to create uh, this. And this time, I'll be using Affinity Designer. And without further ado, uh, let's go. On y va. Here we go. So let's start Affinity Designer and start with a new document. You can make uh, any kinds of uh, size you need, but for now, I'm just using this particular size, all right? 1024 by 768, 144 DPI, let's go. All right, so this is our canvas and we are using um, vectors today and we're gonna draw a macaron. So to start off, to make it easy for us, there is this tool, the rectangle tool. Here, you, there, are, there are options for you to change. Then to choose from, let's do a pie. Okay, so let's do this. This is a pie. Okay, let's get this thing up and running. Here we go. We have this. Okay, I want to do the du double tap. So now we can actually control the how much of the pie that we need. For now, we just need this. It's actually <laughs> half of a circle. All right, so that's it. And for this one, I'd like you to do this. Use your move tool, right? Move this and double tap. When you double tap, then you can change things. You can make this into a curve. So now it's a curve with nodes that we can control. So for a macaron, it doesn't look like this, right? So we need to add some points over here. Make sure you have your node tool on and then just tap here, here and here. Not at the top, but somewhere here at the bottom, right? Close to the bottom. One and two. So that is done. So now we just need this particular node at the top here and bring it down. Okay? And this one as well. Just bring it over here and bring it over here. Now we can constrain. You, you can use one more finger on the screen so they can constrain the node horizontally something like that something like this okay so I want you to move these two nodes closer to the center just a little bit and if you see this can you see that there is this handle here drag this down so that we can create a curve here and here as well see beautiful looks good so now that we have this shape over here like a lump of dough I want you to maybe let's just resize this make it even thinner flatter like that nice okay all right so this is done so uh, actually we're not done yet so I want you to do this I want you to duplicate this I think we can do this place two fingers and then drag like that to duplicate okay easy peasy so uh, this one I want you to make some changes to this. I want you to tap on the move tool. We have this handle here, make it even thinner. Something like this. Okay? So next, we're gonna have uh, an ellipse. So use your this tool again and choose ellipse. We're gonna make something, a circle over here. Something like that. Okay, so use your move tool, place it over here and duplicate it. Use two fingers on the screen, tap and duplicate. The, the thing here is this, I want to make a, you know, like a bubbly or cloudy shape. So follow me and you'll see what I mean. Okay, duplicate, click over here, again, over there, over here, something like this, continue. It's not very regular, it's quite Kind of random so just put it over here one at the top one below that you can even make it smaller there here all right 
Oh, we need a circle, something like this. Okay, and let's duplicate and move it over here. Okay, we're done. All right. As you can see, it's kind of irregular, but that's fine. It's fine. Okay, don't worry about it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join them all up. So let's tap on this particular button here. Okay, and then let's tap add. So you get this shape, one single blob. <laughs> okay, so you can put it over here. So it, it makes for a very nice uh, shape over here, like a macarons outer rim. And we're done. Okay, so that's basically kind of it, but not really yet. So we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this like that. This thing over here is gonna be our shadow. So I want you to do duplicate again, something like that. Okay, so now that we have two pieces here, move this piece just slightly below, like that, and make it bigger use one finger to constrain the size not too big just a little not too big okay something like that okay so our, the next thing we need to do is select these two things tap on this clipboard um, this thing over here and I want you to do this subtract and we get this shape see so this is going to be our shadow kind of and I want you to do this make this smaller slightly smaller and put it over here to see what I mean I want you to do this okay move this down so you can see change the color I want to change the color I'm going to change it to uh, this color okay it's a darker red and this one is going to be maybe pink let's make it into a pink color light pink something like that all right this looks good something like this okay then that's done so this is a bit irregular it is up to you to stretch it however you want it okay to pull it up something like that all right so this is done next this again this let's make it the same color you can see this there's this recent colors here very handy and just select that and we're done so I want you to do this we can now group these two things together and press group press this button here and press group and it's grouped and we're gonna put it over here notice that this color is the same as this color so it's very hard to dis distinguish okay so I want you to do this double tap on this and you can actually see from here if you tap on the layers panel you can see this we want to change this color to a little bit darker so that we can make it more pronounced more distinguished uh, distinguishable is that such a word distinguishable okay never mind <laughs> okay so we have this all right so this is good this is done next i want you to do this we are gonna have some um what do you call that some lighting over here and some shadows as well but before we do that we can actually use this all right and duplicate it use two fingers on the screen tap and drag now i want you to do this turn it use this handle to turn place one finger to constrain so that will be exact okay so that's it so this is one part we still have yet to draw the, the inner part of the macaron the, the cream okay creme now what we need to do is use well you know what actually we can reuse this use your move tool select this 
duplicate change the size okay and place it over here <laughs> isn't that cool we can now change the color to a much deeper pink or red something like this let's try okay if you're not happy about the shape you can actually go ahead and change it you see by tapping on the node tool you can drag this node over here like that and like that all right I know, I'm not gonna be too fussy about this I'm selecting the top part the top shell selecting all of this and moving it closer okay I think I better group this and I'm gonna group the one below as well tab and press group okay and this guy is above I don't want that so go to your layers panel tap and drag downwards okay so now we have this okay looks kind of cool right here it looks quite similar so if you want you can actually change this okay I'm going to resize this something like that I might even let me see I think I will take this whole group and just probably rotate will it look nicer I'm not sure it is up to you okay I want you to test it out experiment and see how your drawing is going to turn out okay so that's it let me see bring this down oh you see this this part over here comes out from here we don't want that so double tap on this bring it lower okay now it looks much nicer i think okay this guy put it lower okay this looks good yeah okay so the next thing that we need is some lighting again we can you know duplicate this part again so double tap on this so you can actually select only this see see this layer so tap and hold tap and using two fingers on the screen tap and drag okay so now what we can do is make this into a lighter color i'm going to change the color if you can see okay something like this make it smaller place it over here i'm going to change the shape just a little bit all right see this is flat we don't want that so use your note tool change this here what you can do is there is no handle over here there is a handle here to handle this curve right but there's no no handle here to handle this curve so what you do is tap here or here okay I'm gonna tap here and I'm gonna tap this one smart so there you go I have a handle there so if you see these two are moving so I want you to tap one thing on screen so you can control one side individually something like that okay great okay so we have this I'm gonna resize this I'm gonna place it over here so we can actually kind of tell that this is on top right yes I think so okay next where is this on the layer this is actually here now if this is here okay if this is the same as yours because we just duplicated it right just now so it remains in this particular group in this layer so I want it to be outside so just drag on top so it's away from all this group separate so let's continue use this same thing again and duplicate it we're gonna have this as a shadow so to do that let us have a different color and let's see whether it will work no 
we still need it to be darker so let's make it a bit darker something like that all right this looks good so again we have to change the curves here so use this node drag drag it something like that this this looks weird right a bit sharp we don't want that you want clean and nice and round okay play around with the handle to make something like this drag it drag it over here okay this is good okay this i think is a little bit too too light so maybe we have it something like this okay okay this looks good let's have something here okay again let's duplicate this two fingers on screen drag and we're gonna put it over here this time we're gonna choose a lighter color much lighter a little bit lighter okay drag make it smaller drag over here over here use the node tool change drag the nodes put it over here drag it over here something like this okay and that's it now we need another shadow over here okay so but before we continue if you find that this looks weird i find that this looks weird so double tap on this so we can only select this i'm gonna resize this okay okay i think it's fine it can't be too perfect with these things okay now let's duplicate this all right tap and drag two fingers on the screen then you can duplicate okay so this needs to be darker let's choose a darker color so okay something like this again we're gonna change the position of the nodes to something like this like a bowl shape all right something like this this let me see okay this has no handle so turn this into a smart uh, curve now that we have the handle okay all right so that's our macaron it's cool eh all right so that's uh the video i hope you can follow through if you can't just rewind that and try again if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because uh, you will get uh, you know notifications if i do post some new videos and i do hope to create more videos um, on a regular basis from now on i hope so if time permits so uh, that's it from me uh, abianto 